lovelies welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me today our video is going to be about the seven mistakes that beginners make when starting their health and fitness program and I really wanted to cover this topic because I'm really excited I have just launched a new membership site so I will leave that link below um, but lots of these ladies that are joining are beginners and I just thought it would be so useful to cover some of this content for you guys right now so the first mistake a beginner can make is to not have a plan. Um, there are so many free plans online um, if you can get one of those. If you want to sign up to one of the PTs or coaches programs that you know then brilliant. Um, there's loads and loads of great information out there online and the main thing that you really need to do is to have a plan because if you don't have a plan it's so easy to kind of get off track, get demotivated, you're thinking what should I be doing and when should I be doing it. So it's just so so important that you have something to follow so really what I recommend is um, if you're in the gym then get an exercise program that is gonna work for you um, and this is where it's really really important that you understand if you are new to the gym then you're not going to go in and be using all this fancy equipment and feel comfortable doing it. So what I recommend doing is if you start with the machines, and um, that's a really great way to um, start out. Um, they're easier to get the technique right. And then you can move on to things like free weights and um, the barbells and things like that. So that's what I recommend in the gym. Watch tutorials, watch YouTube videos, read up on things just to make sure you're getting the technique right because if you're not getting it right, then you could um, have an injury and trust me that is the worst you really want to have a program whether it's in the gym or for at home because you want to know and be focused on how many sets have I got left how many reps am I doing per exercise am I doing this exercise on its own or am I going to be doing a superset so things like that it's just really really great to understand and to know you feel confident that you have a plan you know what you're doing the next mistake that beginners make is to not train their weaker body parts and we can all be a bit guilty of this right because um you know if you have had weaker area you don't enjoy training it as much then guess what you're not going to be excited to train it you know for, for anyone that say might have weaker glutes or weaker shoulders um we must not forget to train our chest ladies it's important to have balance when we're doing weight training um so really focus that you can build up on these weaker body parts don't leave them out the third mistake is that beginners think they need to cut their carbs or drop their carbs and this is actually totally the opposite so if you are doing any kind of resistance training you're lifting weights you're using your body weight you will be breaking down the glycogen that is in your muscles so when you eat carbohydrates it actually helps to restore that um, so really when you're dropping the carbohydrates you could be hindering your process of filling the muscles out and building the muscle mass that you want to have that toned look because muscle burns fat so don't drop your carbs have some um, carbohydrates pre-workout have some post-workout um, obviously monitor how many you're having throughout the day that is not me saying you can go wild and eat all the carbs under the sun um, but don't cut them out completely the next mistake I want to talk about is actually overtraining. So I know what it's like and I've been there before where um, I've been new to the gym and I'm just so excited to get in there and to train and to try all these different exercises and you know it can be quite addictive because exercise releases endorphins and endorphins make you happy. <laughs> but really you want to be having a rest day as well. Rest days are so important. I recommend at least one a week if not two um, and include them kind of in halfway through your training um, don't just have them at the weekend you want to give your body a break in the week as well but your body repairs when it's resting so again it's just really important to get that in and not to do too much um, when you are training so just be conscious make sure you're not overtraining um, and doing any kind of damage to your body moving on to the next mistake that beginners make is to not challenge themselves so I see this all the time in the gym, you know, there's ladies in there, they're doing the same thing, they're not necessarily pushing themselves, um, you know, are you lifting more weight week after week, are you progressing, are you doing more reps, are you doing more sets, um, is the weight going up, things like that, or if you're a runner, are you increasing your time, your speed, your distance, um, so just being really, really conscious of that, how to maximise your workouts um, and get the best results possible is to always be challenging yourself and pushing yourself through any barriers. 
it's so easy to stay in your comfort zones um, and to become a little bit complacent with your training so just be really conscious of this um, and question yourself am I making improvements week on week and the last mistake that I see beginners making and I hear all the time is actually overindulging in cheat meals um, or turning a cheat meal into a cheat day, um, especially beginners. So if you're like on a new um, nutrition program, um, you might be eating things that you didn't eat necessarily as much of before. You might be feeling like you wish you were eating um, more of your favorite foods, um, you know, it's fine in moderation it really really is and I'm a big believer in balance but don't overindulge you know and by that I mean um, it's so easy so it's so easy to turn a cheat meal into a cheat day um, but just be really conscious of that so plan your your meal out where you're going to go out for your cheat meal or your takeaway just make sure you have a plan um, you know are you going to have a starter and a main or are you going to have a main and dessert maybe look at the menu beforehand what can you eat that's you know not going to affect your goals too much I often get asked should I have a cheat meal and the answer is really if you want one you know if it works for your goals so if you are really trying to um, lose weight or transform your body then going all out on a cheat meal might hinder your progress um, that you've made throughout the week so you know can you have something that might be a little bit better um, and the answer is always yes can you have the sauce on the side or you know if you're drinking that night do you have to have three glasses of wine can you just have one and then lots of water um things like that just question it the calories can rack up so it's just being conscious being aware and making the best choices possible so that's my some tips that I often see beginners making and I'm hearing a lot about at the moment in my membership group. So I really hope that's been useful for you guys. If it has, please give me a big thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe. You won't want to miss any of my fit tips again. And leave me a comment. You know, if you've got a question, I'm more than happy to answer it. And just for watching this video today, I have got a free fat loss guide for you that I know you're going to find useful. So if you just click the link below, it'll be the first link in the description box. Pop your email in and then I'll know where to send it. So that's all from me today and I will see you next time.